everybody keeps talking about this guy, Yamoto, and uh, and this is the next big thing. Everybody knows uh, over the last couple of years uh, of a pitcher that's been dominant. Uh, he's been the MVP a couple of times, and uh, now Ooh. he's you – know, you know who I'm talking about, Mr. Otani. And now they're yeah. saying that this kid – is is going to be a better pitcher than Otani? What are your thoughts? I mean, have you checked him out? Have you ever checked out any of the video of him? I mean, I watched him at the World Baseball Classic, yeah. and that was impressive. I mean, he's not facing chump change in the World Baseball Classic either, you know. And I tell you what, man, that Japan League is tough. That Japan, they have some good players that that are over there, and you know, it's a tough league. It's I say it's the second best league in the world mm. after obviously here. No, my cousin played over there and he was like, man, that's that league is no joke. So, I mean, you see, I see all the guys that come over there, all the pitchers, like they, they dominate for a while, you know, and then they have to like, obviously change some things, you know, cause I mean, a hundred flat and straight in the United States will get hit in the big leagues, you know, but he has a nasty splitter. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, his changeup, they say is the most dominant pitch he has. He yeah. said it's unbelievable yeah. how it moves. Like that splitter change that yeah. is gross. Mm-hmm. But I mean, dude, those guys come over here and I mean, you saw, you know, I mean, Otani's thing is he pitches and he hits, right? And he, he does. does them very, very well. Mm-hmm. This guy just pitches and pitches very, 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 well. very, very well. You know what I'm saying? It's like, like if you see Otani pitch, like, man, I want that. That's a number one. Mm-hmm. This guy would be a number one over Otani, 100%. Like, oh, I even. think so too. Where do you think he goes? Where do you think he goes? It honestly depends. Go ahead, say it. I I, I know where it I depends, know where you're going. It depends where Otani goes. Hmm. Honestly, I think you know. I think you know if you look at it, it's a West Coast team, in my opinion. I think this Giants are saved, like have saved up a lot of money over the past couple of years, and they're going to get one, one or two of those guys. In hmm. my, in my opinion, you know they. I mean, so you think it's the, the Giants? They were, in, they were in the playoff race for a little bit until the last month, and then they just fell. They fell apart, you know. So like, if they just get a pitcher like that or a player like Otani, you know, it's. I think the whole Japanese market too, like off the field and stuff, like Seattle, mm-hmm. L.A., Anaheim, San Francisco, like the Asian market there is gigantic, mm-hmm. you know. But I don't, I don't think any of them go to the Mets or the Yankees. Like wow, so. I'm surprised yeah. you say that. Mm. Yeah. I, I've Dude, been reading. I've been reading a lot of stuff Dude, the about them. Spent a lot of money, man. Yeah, like they're, I know one point seven billion dollars with the new GM that came from the Brewers. Like he doesn't, he doesn't break the bank for guys. You know mm. what I mean? So he's gonna make he's gonna make smart free agent signings. I'll tell you that because that guy is knows what he's doing. But he's not gonna be like, hey, we need Otani is gonna save us or this guy's gonna save us. He's gonna. That's a lot of money you're gonna have to pay those guys. Like. But how much I mean, how much is Yamoto going to get? I mean, because he's getting international money. I, I think he he's only going to make a certain amount of money. You're not going to overpay him. Yeah, I think Senga got five years, seventy five. So, so I I I would think that he gets like a four to five year deal worth about closer to ninety million. I think that's what he's going to get. He, I think I, he's going to get like a short amount of years mm. with a lot of money, mm-hmm. so that he could turn around and then get like the flip it because because international you don't have to wait like the the six years of like league minimum and then arbitration Hmm. you know you just do your contract then after that it's like all right now now we go Hmm. so i think because he's he's still young i believe he's still like 24 yeah he's still 24 so that's why you give him you give him a three-year deal Hmm. he's 27 and then He's going to yeah. get a, a a boatload of money if he's as good as yeah, everybody so, says he is. Yeah, you know, so, I mean, a three-year deal for him I think would be good. Like, three years, like you said, 50-something, hmm. 60 maybe. The Yankees have been there quite a few times. Uh, Omer Manaya is working for the Yankees. Uh, Cashman was there watching him play over the summer. And then, obviously, uh, Steve Cohen, Uncle Stevie, flew over there himself in his jet yeah. to go and watch him a couple of, a couple of games uh, over the summer, so that, I, but that was during the season. Yes, and... I I think it's very interesting if if and I know there's a lot of teams that are going to be interested in him. I heard that. The, uh... I heard the Red Sox. I heard the Yankees. I heard the Mets. I heard the Dodgers are interested in him. I heard the Giants, well, like it, you said. But it's your typical team yes. right, that have money. 